It was certainly one of them. Um, you know, we uh, we had a wonderful season that year. We got to the uh, semifinals of the um, what was then the Worthington Cup. Got the semifinals of the um, of the FA Cup, uh, which I'm sure you'll ask me the question about the David Stephen save in any probably in the next question. Um, and it was the um, semifinal of the uh, of the playoffs. And you know there was I think five or six minutes left in the second bit of overtime. We'd come back from two two already. We were two nil down. Come back from two two. With five minutes left, Neil Warnock says to me, "Pesh, get yourself warmed up. You're gonna you're gonna take one of the penalties." Um, I thought, great, this is good, nice and cold. Go straight in for a penalty. And um, Paddy Kenny kicked the ball out from the goalkeeper as I got on and uh, went on a little bit of an amazing run. I think I missed kicked it into the bottom corner, and uh, that was it. In terms of celebrations and emotion, it was it was the most incredible moment of my career. It was, uh, you know, highly f f filled with uh, with emotion. But it was, it was um, yeah, it was an exciting day and uh, one I'll never forget. I still can't believe it to this day, and I, I, I can't remember the date, but I, there's always that anniversary. You see it on Twitter and you see it on Facebook. Uh, the, a year ago today, David Seaman made that save. Or, um, I much prefer them saying the David Seaman save as, as opposed to the, the Paul Pesky so you don't miss. But uh, yeah, it was, it was um, one of those moments that you think, how, how did he do it and uh, why did he have to do it against me? But uh, it was meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, like I said, in, in terms of, uh, you know, huge events happening at a club, that was the biggest, you know, to have a semi-finals of the Worthington Cup, semi-final against Arsenal in, in FA Cup, and then get to Wembley um, and just miss out. I think we played close to 70 games that season. At the end of it, we had nothing to, 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 uh, to show for it, which was a shame because uh, really, if there was any justice in this world, then we should have been promoted that year because... Um, we were by far the best team in the league, in my opinion. Well, Co well, yeah, people around Sheffield all know the name Rob Kozluck. He's uh, he's quite the character, as we all know. He um, he was the entire entertainment for the for, you know for the three seasons I was at Sheffield United. You'd kind of get in there early in the morning to have breakfast and just see what Cosy would do. He was um, you know one by one as you'd walk in. He would rip the shreds out of whoever just came in, and uh, used to poke fun at it himself, which was nice. And uh, you know, his his jokes were kind of kind of bordering offensive at times. And I think for some of his banter, he I think he was shot once by uh, by a pellet gun by Adi Akinbai, I think it was. Um, he's had plenty of beers thrown over him in nightclubs for, for kind of crossing that line. But uh, he was a great lad and um, still a close friend of mine. I guess he will. I guess he will. And if he's uh, if he's half as good as what Neil Warnock is, then uh, it's going to be a tough game against Sheffield uh, on the weekend. He's, um, you know, what can you say about Sean Bean? He's uh, he's done some phenomenal um, uh, some phenomenal roles in his career. You know, just looking back, and uh, for me, the highlight was his when when Saturday comes, where he played. I think it was Jimmy Muir. Um, I think I was at Sheffield at the time when that film came out, so that was quite a special uh, film for us. And uh, Ned Stark. In Game of Thrones, I think he's done. Um, he's was he a baddie in um, James Bond as well? So yeah, he, he's he's a phenomenal character. But uh, we'll see what he's like on, in the with his management uh, suit on 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 the weekend. Well, I wish he was more successful. You know, we we, we kind of fought for promotion while the time I was there and. Uh, uh, there was great times, you know. It was probably in terms of squads, it was a, a very close knit squad, which which you got to credit Neil Warnock and, and Kevin Blackwell for doing so. You know, we had a what he used to say, kind of uh, misfits or players who'd been released from other teams, all got no superstars, but uh, managed to uh, galvanize us and, and, and make us a force to be reckoned with. But um, yeah, no, it was enjoyable times there. I had a, a wonderful three years and uh, still have many friends in Sheffield and, and still chum with the players who I played with from, from back then, so it's nice.